Ohio, weekly update. A few things happened, uh, some good, some bad, as usual. The trials and tribulations of keeping birds. Uh, the hen here, I gave her a nest pan. She started to lay, or she laid one egg and then never bothered doing anything else. So I've took the, the nest pan away and I'm gonna leave her for a couple of weeks now and then try again. I'll move along this way. Uh, here's the variegated cockbird. He was with the hen you just seen. I've took this hen from down below. This was a hen I was not going to use this year. Uh, last year she laid lots of eggs. Uh, they actually hatched, but she didn't manage to bring up any of the young. She just let them die. But she's not, I don't think she's in that great nick actually, but they have been mating. It took a while for them to get used to each other. And she has built a nest. And I say they have been mating, so whether we can get anything out of them or not, remains to be seen. This pair are still, I've got five, five in there. There, he's trying to, well, they're trying to go down again. She's actually, uh, they've been mating, but I don't particularly, I don't want any more out of these. One round of five is, is fine. Uh, I don't, you know, they're not the, the best pairing. Of course, usually as always your best pairing your best pairings are not doing so well and the others that you put together because you've got the birds uh, are doing all right seems to be always be the case here's the hen which is played played up all the while doesn't like any cock bird in there i did see a mate a few times and she has laid three eggs checked them yesterday they all look to be clear so i'll let her sit for a few more days and then i'll probably end up removing them but uh, yeah, whether I will have to try with another cock, I don't know, because she's a pain to be honest. Uh, ivory hen and the cock bird down here. The ivory hen is on. Well, she was on four eggs, uh, but I caught the cock bird. He took an, an egg out and he was on the floor eating it. So down to three eggs, and he's now been pushed aside out of the way. Obviously he likes the taste of eggs, so there's something to watch out for. This pair, I tried her again. She's the one I had originally, she had five eggs and she didn't want to sit. I tried her with an internal nest pan and uh, she made a nest fine. Here's the cock bird in here. And we'll oh, just get this out. Well, you can see that. She laid one normal egg and I thought, great, we're on, on you know, things are moving on here. And then the second day she laid an egg which was half the size and blue almost in colour. So I didn't think nothing was going to happen. Like always, the next day no more eggs. And then the day after no more eggs. So I've removed the nest and separated them. I'm going to leave them for another week or more, couple of weeks and then try again. This is going to be the last time. I mean, if we don't work out with them this time, then I, I won't bother. You know, I was only ever, I only ever want to get about 20 young, and I'm, I'm on the way to getting that now. The hen who's in here, uh, let's have a look. She's, uh, I thought, I thought she got two, but actually there's three in the nest. One of them looks like it's a, a couple of days behind the other. The others even though they're all set at the same time uh, it's quite a bit smaller but she seems to be feeding it okay uh, this pair this is the one that was on the six eggs from five eggs sorry from the one down there but she, she sat on her own eggs for a week i knocked the nest off the eggs broke if you remember rightly uh, i gave her the eggs from down there which she sat for two weeks uh, I think they were dead in the shell. There was a couple of clear ones as well. And in the end, she just uh, couldn't be bothered to sit anymore. So she just gave them up. In fact, the cock bird was sitting on the nest. The hen had, didn't want to sit anymore. So I removed them, gave her a four or five days, um, put in a, another nest pan. And she's, she's built a, started to build a nest. So hopefully I'd like to get some some young from these because they're a good pair.
but we'll see. I've seen him, I haven't seen him make with her this time. I've seen a bit of scrapping going on, but that's about it. The hen here, she's on, she's got two young, uh, about a week old now. They're coming on really well. She's looking after them fine. She's the one that's, uh, she's been mated with a cock bird I had from me mate, uh, for, for boarding for a day. And so she's got, she's got two in there. This pair, I think they're starting to look like they want to go down again. Um, they're, they're two chicks in there are, are doing well. Both variegated so, to some degree. Uh, but there's a lot of activity. She's very bouncy and he's, the cock bird's picking bits up. I'd like this pair to go down again because this, these are a cracking pair of birds. A big, really big bird to a small hen. Good colour, good bloodline. Uh, hopefully the young. Not always. Sometimes, you know, just because you put uh, two good birds together, don't always mean to say the young are going to be really good. Uh, sometimes it's the opposite way around. A poor pair, which you think can throw, can throw out the better birds. So it's don't always, you know, it's not always the case. But if I can get, uh, if I can get twenty out of these, I'll be well happy because that's about as most I want to manage. You've got to feed those 20 extra birds. You've got to look after them. You, then you've got to try and sort them out. Then you've got to get rid of them if you don't want them. So you can get too much, you know. It just the, the more young you have and the more birds you have, even though I've got the time to do it, I don't want to be bogged down with, uh, with too many birds. And also if I go away, I've got to rely on other people looking after them. So 20 young and the ones I've got here will see me through till Christmas time when I can sort them out and get rid of the ones I don't want. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I've just had a look at my stats on uh, YouTube. It looks like 72% of people that watch my videos don't actually subscribe. You know, subscribe, uh, doesn't cost anything and it helps the, the channel along so you know if you are watching and you haven't subscribed please do um, it helps uh, encourages me to try and make more videos uh, so yeah that's it for now and I'll talk to you again probably in about a, a week's time thanks for watching bye